What's up, everyone? It's your boy Norn Rad eighty nine here, and you know what time it is. It's another rad movie review. Black Widow's finally out, the twenty fourth film in the MC universe. Let's find out if it's a good film. This is gonna be a non spoiler review. Roll it. Black Widow is the most recent film in the MCU universe. It's a prequel film tackling a really personal storyline for Black Widow where we get to find more in-depth stuff about her backstory. So let's find out some of the positives of this film. Definitely one of my key positives is Florence Pugh. She was an amazing actress as Yelena, the the younger sister for uh, Scarlett Johansson's character, Natasha. Oh my God, their chemistry on screen was so amazing. And I really did like just her style and the character, like the writing, the char like her comedy, everything like for her character, I think was amazing in this film. Add to that, we also got some other characters that have some amazing chemistry with them as well, like David Harbaugh and Rachel Weiss. They play the family that raised uh, Scarlett Johansson's character back in the day as a child when they were spies in America. So it's really got a lot of good like, you know, just hardcore chemistry between these characters because you could really feel like they're a family the way they speak and the way they talk to each other on screen. Also, we have some top-notch CGI and physical fight scenes. Like, I really did like the practical physical fight scenes. They do a lot of good job. The fight choreography was top-notch. It was really cool to look at. And like I said, there's a lot of other CGI scenes, too, that you'll really love if you're, like, you know, like a huge Michael Bay fan. Like, there's explosions in this film, too. So, like I said, it's got a lot to offer all the different kind of action junkies out there as well. And I really did like the fact that we just we that we got this film. Like to be honest, like Black Widow is a character that is very deserving of her own film, and this is a really good down home personal storyline about her character. You know what I mean? It's not a bunch of world stakes. It doesn't involve like all kinds of terrorists or nothing like wild, crazy. Like you know, the world's about to end. Like it's a very good personal story about her you know really tying into that family aspect and all the stuff you know because Natasha always does have kind of like a problem with that throughout the Avengers films of like where does she really belong does she really have a family so all that kind of stuff is really you know they paid attention to that and it's really talked about and used in this film to portray it and make it another level you know take that storyline to another level so let's get down to talking about some of the negatives of this film and for me some of the negatives i watched this film twice just so i could really nail it down when i was writing down my positives and negatives and really thinking about them i was you know i wanted to watch it twice so i really knew what to think about and my favorite like or my favorite <laughs> my main negative my <laughs> of course is uh, it's just taskmaster i feel like that character was so like just underwhelming so underutilized we have like one really good fight scene with taskmaster but then the rest is kind of lackluster so i really wanted a lot more from that character in this film also there is some stuff that happens in the third act as i said this is a non-spoiler review so i'm not going to spoil anything but there is some stuff that happens in the third act that i feel like i'm a little confused there's a little jumbled writing things weren't answered in that third act or I do have questions and like I said if you guys like this video and you want to see more I'll probably do a spoiler discussion that way we could dive more in depth and we could really talk about it but yeah there's something in that third act that does bother me with in terms of the writing and the story post credit scene I really didn't feel anything from the post credit scene I feel like the the post credit scene in this one is probably one of the weakest it didn't offer like any awe moment or something I didn't know or like you know give me anything that Nick knew that I I wanted so that's kind of another thing that I was just like eh, I was like a little bit just mediocre on like nitpicky style maybe but overall in my book for the rad rating Black Widow is gonna get an 8 out of 10 like I said this is definitely still a hardcore very enjoyable Marvel film I would highly recommend spending your money and going to check it out in theaters because it's going to keep you entertained. It's got some really good chemistry on screen between the actors, some top-notch action for all you action junkies, and a really good kind of down-home personal story for Black Widow for all those really big Marvel fans out there that really do love her and wanted to see this film. I think it's going to do you all justice.
Thanks for sticking around with me all for another rad movie review. I hope you all enjoyed it. Leave your comments in the comment section below. Let me know what you thought of the film. Definitely remember just general thoughts of how you felt about the film. Did you hate it? Did you not? Or did you like it? You know, that kind of thing. Leave the spoilers, you know, for the spoiler discussion video. Thanks for sticking around with me. As I said, don't forget to drop a like and hit that subscribe button so you can stay up to date on all the content that I put out. Have a safe and happy day, everyone. Peace out.